People don't volunteer to experience stress, migration, hunger, or danger. But at Montgomery College, students showed up to step into the shoes of what global refugees experience in order to better understand them. Uh, what I will be doing is guiding students and faculty through um, a simulation or a representation of what a typical refugee family would go through. Um, uh, this, term, this falls in terms of like getting over a border, um, just settling down, getting a job or a career, um, gaining citizenship or uh, refugee status. So what we want to do is raise awareness for all students and all faculty that this is what these people are going through and this is how grueling and hard it might be and how fearful it might be. The simulation they follow is created by the United Nations High Commission on Refugees, called Passages, creating awareness through experiential learning. I do understand them a little better than before because like even over here when we were running the simulation it was like really it wasn't a real thing but still like I was in panic because like it felt so real. People who were like trying to traffic them and things like that, it's just scary. What many don't realize is how simple it is to make a difference in the life of refugees, many of who are now our neighbors. I was asked to present some of my experience with a local Syrian family and to explain how we got involved. This doesn't take a huge organization to do, it can be done on the individual level and that there is a host of ways to become involved. One is through Lutheran Social Services. You can go to their website and there are opportunities through their website to get involved immediately. I'll add I'm not involved with that group in any way. Um, the other is ECDC, which is the Ethiopian Community Development Council, and they also provide services. Before the event was over, students had already collected supplies for newcomers, including warm blankets to donate. For MC Today, in Rockville, I'm Carolina Galeano.